So maybe a simple, uh, very simple, very, very simple game, game problems, two player, two player games. And it some some sort of invariance flavor is there, but just just look at it as a game and try to solve it. Yeah, invariance, invariance. Okay. So I will do a few, and then you will find many more uh, if you Google or don't Google. Just mathematical circles has a few. So yeah, naming game and so on. But let's discuss some easy ones. Okay. Now this is a very simple one. So you have a let's say a chocolate bar. Okay. So it could be 10 into four. Okay, 10 into four chocolate bar. There are two players, maybe 10 is now. Yeah, eight into four. So basically at each move, what the player basically picks up one of the pieces and breaks it into two. Okay. Along the, along the lines, obviously. So I'll say it in a minute. Okay. So we can only break the chocolate bar along the, along the, I mean, you understand, right? Along the grid lines, along the lines. Okay, break it into pieces. Yeah. Uh, so two players, uh, player A and B. Okay. Player A makes the first move. Player A starts. Okay. What is a move? The move is same for both. Yeah. Pick any piece that is there. Yeah. It could be so unless it's if it's an indivisible piece. If it's a one by one block then you can't do anything with that. So you can't pick that, but uh, pick any breakable block and break it into two pieces, you know, in, a, in your own way. So pick any breakable block and break it. Now there are many ways to break it. That's the point. So, so usually there'll be many ways to break it. and break it into two pieces. Okay, now this should be clear. Yeah. But there'll be come there'll come a time when you can't break anymore, right? So a player who cannot yeah who cannot um, do any breaking who cannot perform any breaking cannot uh, do any breaking, yeah, loses. Okay. Right. Question is, who will win? Yes, yes. So alternate always. Yeah. You can break the block into two pieces. Oh, sorry, I didn't say it. two, two. So two pieces always, always. Yeah. You cannot break it into three pieces. Uh, even if you, if possible, you will only have to break it into two pieces okay? and that you can do in several ways. So for example, uh, if at some stage you have somehow you have this and you have this you can pick any one of them okay let's say let's say you pick this one yeah this one and how could you break it so you have to break it along the grid lines okay so you can either break it like this uh, then it will become this or you can understand i mean it's, uh, in fact you get the same thing uh, but you can also break it like this what you cannot do is you cannot break it like this. Okay. So, or maybe let me allow that also. Okay. Let's allow this also. Okay. So point is that you have to break it along the grid lines. Yeah. So this is possible, right. In that way, yeah, you understand, right. You can just take this grid and this, this line and this line, and then you break it off. 
No, you can see they are not equal. Like this one is not equal. Yeah. So that's the thing into two pieces, but not equal or anything. No, it could be like, yeah, that's the thing. So it could be like this. Yeah. And then in the next step, uh, someone has to might pick up this one, this tromino or not tromino, this LL shape thing may pick up this one and he may again break it into like this. Yeah. So, yeah. So you can pick at any stage, there'll be many pieces and we don't know what pieces will be there and you can pick any one of them. You can break it in any way you want. So it seems completely random. So again, you can try, you can try small cases and do see, okay. You can take a four by four and see, or yeah, a two by two, you can take uh, two by four, anything it's similar to what I have said, what I've given four by eight, you can take a smaller, similar and smaller example. Ah, so let's see. Yeah, right. For two by two, A will lose. So let's say this is the two by two, and A begins. Uh, yeah. So Ishana, can you explain why will A lose? No, but then what? What about the first move? Uh, I didn't understand. No, in the first, no, but in the first, there is only one block. Yeah. In the first step, there is only one block. Then, right. It's a two by two, right? So there's only one block and then Uh, sorry, sorry, four pieces. So say that again. You can break one of them, but there is only one block in the beginning. So four pieces, I don't understand. Uh, so there's one block and he has to break it into two pieces. So what do you mean by four pieces? Uh, ah, okay, right. Right. So you're saying he can get this kind of thing. Ah, basically there are two ways. There are basically two, two, you may think that there are many, but there are only basically two, two, uh, two ways to break it. Right. In some sense. Right. So either you get half half or you get this. So this is very interesting. Actually, it's an interesting problem here that you see, you may see, you may think that, well, there are so many different ways to break it, but eventually you only have two ways. Other ways are same. Other ways are the same. Yeah, you get the same pieces in the end. And it's a rather interesting question. You know, given a uh, that's an interesting question. Mm, no, no, I don't understand. So bottom two blocks meaning. So there are two, there are two possibilities. Then let's say, let's say we have the, let's say the first possibility, then what do you do? Yeah. So let's look at the first possibility.
Now, so he has to, he can pick this block and break it. He can, he can pick that L and break it, right? And in fact, yeah, he will do that. So, I mean, that's the only thing he can do. And once he does that, then we will be left with something like this always. Sorry, B, B does this, sorry. Uh -huh. So I think I said it wrong. A makes the first move, then B does this. Is it okay? Yeah. Now A can again make the last move. And in fact, then A wins. I mean, if we do it like this, is it right? And now B cannot move. With B's turn, uh, B uh, can't, can't break. So in fact, so it, it seems incorrect, yeah, that A will lose because we have that A, A wins. Sorry, uh, yeah, A, I mean, in fact, A has found a way to win, right? I mean, A has forced because B cannot be smart here. This A can do nothing, right? Because B has to break this. So, so A, A, A in fact wins, right? We have found, we don't even have to look at the second case because A has found a way to win, okay? A will win. Um, you can see that in the second case, you can just guys quickly work it out. In the second case also, even if A plays that way, he also wins, he again wins. Yeah. Now someone explain what is happening. Like, why is A winning? It's dependent on something very simple is what we want to say. Huh? Um, no, each move is sorry. Uh huh. Huh. Each move, yeah. But initial. Mm hmm. Hmm. But you're not breaking it into even blocks. Uh, at least, you know, directly, if you say in each case, so there are even number of blocks, even there are even Uh, yeah, to begin with, right. What is possible? Uh, yeah, sorry. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So why, why? So it's similar to what Nagesh is. Nagesh has said that so eventually so when the game ends, there will be 32 pieces. So that is one thing. Yeah. So Aparna, you can then maybe ex give an explanation. Uh -huh. Okay. So a, so you're saying a breaks it like this. Okay. But why will we, why will we break it like that? That's up to B, right? See, you can, you, you're trying to make a strategy for A. So it's fine if you say that A breaks it like this, but to B, we cannot say anything to B, right? We will say, no, I, I will, I'll play, play like my, so winning means what winning means. Yeah. I mean, I win means what I win if. I win means that I will win if I follow a certain strategy, no matter what my, no matter what is the strategy of the opponent, I have a strategy using which I will win no matter what the other person's strategy is. So we cannot dictate the other person's strategy in, in that sense. You see, 
Yeah. So you have to say that no matter what B does, A will win. That's the meaning of winning, right? So we want to, because we all understand kind of that A will, A will win, but we have to say no matter what B does, A will win. That's the crux. You see, okay. So this is so, see, because it's like the last class we're doing a little interesting questions. These are not very hard, you will see, but just that we are not used to these things. But anyways, yeah. So see, the main thing is that what Nagesh has said that in, in the end, there will be 32 pieces. Yeah. And this is what we should note that game ends when there are 32 pieces. See, A will win means what? A will win means that there are, it means that the game ends in odd number of moves. Yeah, game ends means, you know, a, a B cannot make a move. Yeah, so A will win. This is the same thing as saying that a game ends in odd number of moves because A starts and an odd number of moves means that A will also make the last move. You see, so how many moves are, are going to be made in this game? Can we say that there will be an odd number of moves always or something like that? Like you see in this example, four by four example, there are an odd number of moves always, no matter how you do the problem, right? Even if you break it in the second way, you will see that in an odd number of steps, the game ends and then B's turn comes on an even number and then he has nothing to move, nothing to break. So we just want to show that the game takes an odd number of steps. Huh, 31 steps, right? So the, the claim is that you will always need 31 steps to break a chocolate bar like this into, you know, uh, into one by one cells. So now it's no more a game question. Yeah, it's a very simple question. Yeah. That always that is my claim here, always 32, 31. Yeah. And this is the truth. You can try to prove this. You can see it in the small cases that four by four, there are three moves of, you know, you can take uh, two by three, you'll see there are five moves and so on. Always five steps, always 31 steps needed. Why? And no matter how you do 31 steps are needed. Uh, but why can't we do it in 30 steps? Why? I, I see that's closer, more easy to believe, but then still, why will two pieces be left if we take 30 steps? Yeah. So what's the clean way to say, it? okay. So this is homework now. Okay. Find a clean way to explain this. So I guess all of us can kind of feel that there are 31 steps needed. Okay. I mean, even if you don't see it like that, you see in the four by four case, three steps are needed. You work out. If you can't see, then you work out four into three or three into two. You see that always you will need one less steps. You try it with a friend or someone or someone at home. Just, you know, you make, you make a move. You ask them to make a move. You will see that it always one less and it's, it's, it's very simple there. You don't need to play that game actually, but still, yeah. Point is that you have to find a way to understand this intuitively, right? Either you play it yourself, play it with someone or you find a direct explanation, but yeah, but you have to spend time. That's the only way. Okay. 
so this is a very this is not a game actually then right it's actually a completely determined thing because no matter what a does and no matter what b does actually you will always take 31 steps okay or you'll always take one lesson hmm? it's a simple question you can okay so if there are any questions then please ask um no questions okay so then let me give a uh, let me ask a harder version of the same question slightly more interesting version well not harder again you can yeah you will see so now what happens is that is chocolate so we would also like to eat it so at each step in each move either you can break uh break it into two pieces or you can eat a piece you could even eat a big piece okay that's up to you um so but then a can eat the whole chocolate right to begin with <laughs> so what should it be one second now ah so here it's a bad thing it's a, the one who makes the last move and loses yeah <laughs> okay you can either take so this was understood or eat a piece now the a piece means you know he could eat the he could eat the whole chocolate okay yeah so you could eat the whole chocolate or you could take a one by one piece or any piece that is in front of him yeah in front of the player uh, he can eat it yeah, he or she can eat it so that's it that. yeah. eat a piece okay now here the thing is that player who i mean eats the last piece yeah because yeah, eats the last piece yeah it's the last move will always be an eating move yeah eats the last piece loses okay usually this is said in a some other way but then it's more specific uh, uh, yeah here yeah. oh so at each stage you will see there will be a lot of pieces in front right because some breaking has happened right so some pieces will be there and so you you need one piece from there right you understand right at each move so if it's a 2 by 3 so that's a 2 by 3 that's obviously initially a would not want to eat yeah he would not want to eat the, because otherwise if a eats in the beginning so eating doesn't so if you eat then you don't break okay you just eat in that move so because that's why it's just a or okay yeah i understand either what this or that okay. the point here is that if he eats in the first move then he has to eat the whole piece so he doesn't do that uh, otherwise he loses right? so he will not do that otherwise uh, let's say so otherwise he breaks it like this let's say or he can break it in many ways but well, uh, he breaks it like this yeah so this is what a does now what can b do here b can eat a piece or break eat a piece means that there are two pieces he can eat one of them so b now b can eat if b eats then he can eat one of them let's say eats the big piece yeah then a has to work with this okay now a can eat this piece but then he loses so he breaks it yeah so this is, game has more possibilities yeah like this now b b will eat a piece right so it left with only one piece and now a has to a cannot break anymore he has to eat so if a eats he is eating the last piece so he loses so you see in this case 2 by 3 case a loses in this game well at least in this way he loses if we maybe play some other way he wins i don't know you have to think so you have to again take small examples take 2 by 2 2 by 1 2 by 2 2 by 3 and try and see what you get 
this is this topic is like that in the beginning in the beginning uh, run when you're doing all this topic yeah especially in variance principle more than pigeonhole and other principles yeah even others like counting also is like that i think you have to really do small cases and small cases with energy and try to see patterns and so on let's see let's check let's check so if he eats a smaller piece i don't know then what happens if he eats a smaller piece then you get this Two by one, aya. Uh, yeah. Okay, if B again breaks, right? Hmm. Ah, again, A loses, right? A will because there are four pieces and uh, starting with B. So A has to eat the last piece. And so he again loses. So you see this, we also A is losing. Uh, so you have to see, it's an interesting question. I don't see the exact reason why A is losing is first you think, huh? Yeah. Because usually in this topic, if you directly go for the reasons, then you just have a bunch of, you will have a set of tricks. Which, if it comes in the exam, it's good. Otherwise, you will not know what to do. Okay, so and that is not very helpful, I think. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Um, okay. Um, so there are a lot of things that you have to try. Yeah. yeah. Now, since we are doing games, let's do one last game. Okay, let's again. So this today's class has a lot of things you have to try. Okay, if you don't try it, then then uh, yeah, yeah, then you lose. If you don't try, work them out, then you lose. Let's try one more. Let's say one more game. So now this is also a chocolate bar kind of game. And this game is actually a very deep game. This is used to prove or rather at least uh, some big theorems in algebra. Okay. But uh, yeah, I, you cannot see the connection now maybe. Uh, the, these games are very, because they are so simple that a lot of other things can be modeled in terms of these. So that's why. So you can see this is a five by four. Okay. This guy, you may have seen, you guys may have seen this is a standard puzzle actually. So there is a, so this is poison, poisonous cookie. Okay. This is a poisonous cookie. And again, two, so I'm not saying, I'm not writing. Again, there are two players, A and B, they alternate the moves, A starts. Okay. What is the move that is important? Okay. So at each move, a can take out a rightmost, a lower right piece. Okay. I'll explain that. So, but let me write first. Uh, each move is means uh, take away or eat. Yeah. Take away the take away, not the take away a lower right piece. Take away a lower right um, a, a block, not piece, because you can take a block. What do I mean? So, for example, in the first move, what A can do is he can say, I will take this lower right piece. You understand? This is a lower right piece. Yeah. So you pick a point and then to the right and down, 
you pick out everything else everything yeah uh just to you know highlight that thing you have to see so he can he can leave you with this you could have done many other things okay so okay now b will also have to do the same thing so he has to take a lower right piece so for example if b chooses this point yeah then he has to take away this but then he'll only end up taking away one okay because the low to the lower right of that thing there is only one right so he takes away this you see and then a again can do anything so if a if a chooses if a chooses this then he has to take away the entire part to the lower and the right okay and then he will take away he'll take away this thing this entire thing will go away you see and so in this way the game moves okay and the person who is forced to eat the last cookie that last red cookie he loses okay the person who is forced to take away the last red cookie loses because that's poison the person who is forced to eat that yeah i mean obviously nobody would choose to eat that so nobody would pick <laughs> uh no one would pick this uh, point and take away this thing <laughs> that is crazy right um but you see so the person who makes the last move will lose because there's poison yeah uh, i'll just say the person who eats who has to eat the poisonous cookie yeah so the player forced to eat poisonous cookie loses okay yeah so let's actually do this one so let me take a small case so that we can actually do it now okay right? big case then uh, i only end up trying to do it so that's better that we take a reasonable simple a simple 2 by 3 so now you tell me who will win so a a and b a starts so imagine you are a you don't want to eat the last cookie you don't want to eat the red cookie and how should you make your moves uh okay so if a eats the second row so in the first move a eats this right you saying uh the entire second row uh okay so you're saying the first b eats this sorry a eats that lower right block then we will so let's write this clearly um that way we will lose so let's see so we will yeah seems we will have this now if you say that b eats this uh if b eats this so this is a this drawing it yeah. then we will have this and then you're saying if it continues like this right so then a eats away this then b eats this then a eats this and then b has to eat this and he loses b loses yeah 
is it uh, is it clear some yeah let me just say that again so initially if a eats this then b eats this then a then b then a and then b has to eat post if it goes like this okay but this doesn't mean that a will win the game because b can play in so many other ways why would he play like this yeah a has to win no matter what b does that's the point so we have seen one case in which a will win but maybe b can play b smarter yeah so you have to think Ah, so if A eats right, if A eats this entire row, and then B is like, okay, good. Now I will make you lose. Then B eats this, and then A will be forced to lose this. So well, this is the way in which A A can lose. So so there is some strategy in which A loses. So then how will how will A ensure victory? So A has to. So this says that now in this game A has to play smart. It cannot just be that he plays anyhow. So it's tricky, right? Can you find a foolproof strategy in which using which A will always win? So fine. Let's do this. Let's let me say that so that is more a little more, um, yeah, driven in the sense that find find a plan such that A will win. Yeah, no matter what B does, that plan will depend on B's moves. So yes, it has to be dynamic, right? No matter what B does. Yeah, so in this small case, uh, okay, okay. So then let me be A. Okay, let's say that I I will I am A and I eat this. The only the Corner block. Now, someone can come up with something that B will eat. Anything. First one. Anyone just say the first anything. Second rows. There is no. There is no third row. Third column. Third column. Yeah. So you're saying only this one. Right, because yeah, this will be gone. So if he picks that last one, then he has to only eat that. Okay, so B is okay. Then now I I am A, so I'll have to, um, so I will say okay, I will only eat this. So now Aparna, you only tell me what what are you going to do next?
yeah but you see you yeah it will not have not work right so now you guys can play among yourselves later or with your friend yeah what how did i ensure victory i mean this is <laughs> victory <laughs> okay so you can now think this is an interesting game but there has to be a dynamic strategy okay if anyone does not understand please ask because once you understand then you can play around with this a lot okay no no but why will i i won't do that i am a so you so you can be b and try to tell me try to find no i will not do that yeah if i eat this then i may end up losing that's a different thing okay yeah uh, is it fine yeah uh uh mm, uh so if a if a eats a bit this no then then b can eat this ah but again again b loses that's right ha huh, that's also okay so that's maybe a strategy for ah okay so that's a strategy again okay so so ishan has found an actual you know like a okay so this is not a dynamic strategy this is actually a global strategy so you make a eat this but this is kind of working for the small case you will see okay but anyways i am not making a claim uh, point is if a eats this uh, but that is because yeah it's because of a small and no matter what b does okay or maybe if what if b eats this only this piece he can do that uh, yeah then ah ah okay so you see it didn't work right if b eats only this then a will eat this and b will eat the hamming then yeah then then a can only eat yeah so then then yeah, so it's so what so that's not a strategy right okay so you see there is no global strategy it seems yeah you have to play the dynamic dynamically depending but you have to maintain some sort of an invariance uh yeah you have to see you have to think this cannot be yeah you have to play around with it okay so let me stop here and uh, but if someone doesn't understand any of the games we've discussed tell me so that you can spend time that's the only way but you have to understand the things uh, clearly by the way this is uh, this has a name so if you well i, I encourage you first try on your own but uh, yeah you can otherwise but please try on your own first this is called game of chomps okay if you google there will be many many it's a very popular game uh you can read or you can watch some video but better you try on your own first after that you should at least half an hour you try yeah uh, if you don't get so anyone has questions so let's ask otherwise we'll end better you spend time on this on your own no ha huh. in the pre uh why because what if i eat it then uh why ah only breaking one so that's one before that ha ah, right right okay so ha ah, so in so why even number of pieces at each time we break it into two pieces but uh each set of a and, okay so each set of a and b moves what does it do right no i don't understand each set of moves will give you even number of chocolates what does that mean Uh huh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's see. A breaks it like this. Ah. Uh, okay. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. So when A breaks, then we have two pieces, and then. Yeah, B, B, B can break any one of them. So when B breaks, then you have three pieces, right? Ah, 
Oh, that's what you're saying. Yeah. So at the end of move of A, you have an even number of pieces. Always. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That that's uh, that doesn't change. Yeah. Right. And that doesn't change. You can just explore it because we assume that, you know, after some steps, there is an even number of pieces and A is making a move. Then B will end up with odd number of pieces. Basically, the point is that always your number of pieces increase by one, no matter how you're breaking it. Okay. That's the point. And uh, yeah, you can. That's that is fine. Yes. Because you can, you can actually prove this. Yeah. Means you have already said it. Yeah, that at, at the end of every move of A, there will be an even number of pieces. But for all this, you should you have to also uh, say that for at the end of every move of B, there will be an odd number of pieces because you have to use that to prove the next one. Right? It's like a step. Uh, yeah. If there's a regress proof, which is important. Yeah. Okay. Okay, then. So it seems like then there are no questions. So then I'll end. You can always WhatsApp me or just uh, ask me. Yeah.